you might create something for a moment, but you, you it's just part of being a human that you, you have that moment to where you think about that. It could be much later in life, but you might think about it like, I remember when, and it might just be a fleeting thought, but you remembered it, and that memory is valuable, has value. That's why art is valuable. Now, how much value? It depends on how important it is, how much it matters to you. I got 48 hours to create bodies of work um, that I revealed to the public after the 48 hours in the exhibition format. Um, during that 48 hours, I only get four hours of sleep. Um, I'm still unclear if it's like per night or, you know, per 24 hours. So for every 24 hours, I get four hours of sleep, or if it's four hours of sleep in the duration of 48 hours. You know, it's one thing to like stay up because you have insomnia or you just don't feel like sleeping or you might be bogged down by some things, but when you ain't got none of that and it's like, it's some rules, you know, you always want to break the rules or you always feel like boxed in by the rules. I'm doing what sets me free right now, so it's all the time about freedom, but like I said, freedom ain't free. You know, I guess it's like, I look at some artists who have like, maybe living influences, so to speak, or they might have influences that come from like, you know, dead people, but like people that, you know, they may have never met, so to speak, but they just admire how they went about life or created or whatnot. But for me, it was my grandmother and Still is my grandmother because it's almost like I'm chasing a hive, you know, because she left behind some work and she left behind this legacy. And for me, it's like I never, I seen her do a couple pieces of art in her lifetime, during my lifetime, but it's like while I'm doing the work now, currently, and she's no longer here in the physical. It's like I'm always, every day, it's like I'm waking up with her on my mind because, you know, she's like the living being that I can't see physically. You know, I see her in my dreams, I see her in my mind, I see her in my work. So I guess every time I create, it's always like in a sense to try to like recreate her. Yeah, she was a heavy influence on me spiritually, religious wise. And so whenever I'm worshiping, so to speak. Not worshiping her, but just worshiping the religious foundation she left for me. I feel her presence. And then when I'm doing art, which is also like a form of worship for me, I feel her presence then too, so. Every moment is precious for the next 48 hours. I can't tell you what it's gonna look like. For 48 hours, you're gonna see all of me come out.
It's been almost a total of 24 hours that I've been at this. If it's been so good, like this 48 hour project is, it's tedious, it's tiresome, but it's real good in terms of like, <clears throat> giving me that a long time to tap in. And you know, I, I do it all the time, just being an artist in general, but you know, with the pressure on you, and that's what makes you a king and queen too, is when you really know how to, you know, hone in on and appreciate the time that you have to yourself. Because really that time is the time you spend with the creator. And as an artist, it's important to to connect to the creator, you know, my personal belief, because that's who gives you the ability to create. You know, this 48 hour experience has allowed me to be in this space and really connect to this space. And that's a beautiful thing. Like in order to be a real good artist, you have to have a space that's like almost a sanctuary that enables you the ability to create your work. And I'm ever so grateful for that. My mom always gets on me about talking while yawning and talking while eating, so I try to be more conscientious of that. <laughs> Thanks, Mom. I did a little dreaming, but I can't really remember what I dreamt about. But I guess whatever I dreamt about came to fruition. I think I was dreaming about her, the piece on the floor. Because the way she manifested was like... It was also hard for me to manifest them because I was still, like she said, I was in lower vibration. So, trying to attune some to trying to attune to something like the sun, you have to be on your higher vibration. I got in touch with my divine feminine, and that's how she really tapped in. Cause I needed some nurturing, I needed some love, I needed Mother Earth, and I was gonna call her Bubblegum Queen because I, you know, the pink, and then I was like, I want to make it relative to like my generation, so to speak. But then, me and Cam B, we're kind of talking it over, and I was like, you know what? This piece needs to be called Speak Love. Because that's what I need to do. Like, that's what I want, is more love. And in order to get what you want, you got to speak it. So... Are you gassing me up because like I'm your muse or are you like, cause sometimes as artists we gas up our muses and then the muses return it by like gassing us up as artists. And so then there's like this like dichotomy between like who's like greater, the muse or the artist or the work or the artist. Like which one is more important? Cause at the end of the day, like, for me, all of, everything I create is a piece of me. Like, it's a piece of light heart. Pieces of light heart. And I feel like what I do that other people may or may not do is I give you what's inside my heart. Some people give you what's inside their soul. Some people give you what's in their mind. Some people give you what they see. For me, I give you what's in my heart. To be black and brown in this society now, it's still yet a truly royal thing because we live in a society where it's hard to survive. Like We have so many traumatic things that have either happened to us individually or those around us or we see it in, like on television or whatever, media. And it's hard to live as a black or brown person in this nation. You know, so it's like, it's cool. Uh, yeah, it's like, but if you realize that you're royal, then you start to disconnect from the fear and you start to connect to, like, a purpose. It is 2.20 on August the 24th. I've done... See, one, two, three, four, five pieces. 
Uh, <clears throat> I may do one, two more uh, to make it a total of seven, but I don't know. I'm grateful for the opportunity. This 48 hour experience has definitely helped me to elevate my spirituality. Such close proximity with my creator, I truly believe that. Uh, my creator has continuously been checking on me, and I'm ever so grateful for it. For so now, I'm gonna check out uh, and revisit y'all, or you, or whoever is watching this, in the AM. Your work never feels finished. I could do way more to all of my work, but it's only, you know, it's entirely up to me how I feel. It's hot off the press, you know what I'm saying? Like, this, this paint may, hopefully it'll, it should dry, but if it don't, you still, you gotta put work of art in. My grandmother used to say, it's seldomly convenient to do the right thing. All you gotta do is do what's right. And if you don't know what's right, it's your responsibility as a human to figure it out. Because we all are just spiritual beings living a human experience. All these pieces. And I'm gonna have a moment where I look at all the work that I did how much material and how much energy and all of that that was spent on it and how much criticism I'll get for charging this, that, and that, this. But at the end of the day, is when I look at that and I had this moment with this work and I say, yeah, okay. How does this make my soul feel? And this piece is interesting because like, I put this red cross behind it as if it was like, of course, tied to a uh, religious connotation, but, and interesting, I never picked up, but it kind of looks like she has a mustache. So she kind of has the ability to turn into a man if need be too. I would want to call this piece silence. And I will call it silence because her mouth is covered she sees her eyes are wide open so she can see things that are like off. She can like almost see spiritual things. And she has these things, these women inside of her that like, like one woman sees behind her. This piece is the money goddess. She's got like the princess Leia, like puffs. Everything about her is like money. But I love that I use, I love when little words, I don't do it like intentionally, but little words show up like voila, effortless go, um, glow. Or the story behind my skin and then it has all these different races like African American, French, Native American. If I'm in a museum, when I get in a museum, cause it ain't no if, it's when. When I get into the museum, there, should, there is my grandmother. Right in there too. And she was big on integrity. <laughs> Do you feel there's a difference between artistic integrity and just humanistic integrity? Nah. Who gives a fuck? <laughs> mm -hmm.